Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. Investigators say a Fort Worth man is the suspect in the Washington, D.C. Navy Yard shooting that left 12 people dead. The suspected gunman makes the 13th. He's identified as 34-year-old Aaron Alexis. The shooting happened early this morning. Alexis had been previously arrested for malicious mischief and discharging a firearm in public. An oxygen canister explodes at Lone Star High School in Frisco this morning, injuring six people. A nurse was reportedly treating a student in the field house when it happened. The victims were treated at the hospital and released. The fire marshal's office and school district are investigating. Tyler police today are trying to find whoever robbed a Domino's pizza late last night. That happened in the 700 block of West Gentry just before 1030. Witnesses described the robber as 5 feet 10 inches tall, 160 pounds, dressed in all black with a piece of clothing wrapped around his face. Call police if you know anything about the crime. Two Red Cross volunteers from East Texas are heading to Colorado to help victims of the devastating flooding. Those with the East Texas area Red Cross say the volunteers are leaving this afternoon. What they'll be doing to help tonight. Tyler Native and Texas A&M quarterback Johnny Manziel is the Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award Player of the Week. Sport Tyler and the Tyler Chamber of Commerce made the announcement this morning. Manziel set a record for passing yards despite the 49-42 to loss against Alabama Saturday. Join us for all that plus weather and sports tonight on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. We'll see you then.